carbuncle. The definition of uh, carbuncle is a localized infective gangrene of uh, subcutaneous tissues. What is the etiology of this condition? The predisposing factor is the acute abscess, poor general health, poor general condition, immune deficiency, especially the most important predisposing factor for carbuncle is diabetes mellitus. The organism is usually Staphylococcus aureus, which secretes potent necrotoxins. But surgically, this condition, which is carbuncle, affecting the nap of the neck. This is a common sight. And the back. And the face. Infection usually starts in the hair follicle. This is normal hair follicle. And if infection affecting one hair follicle only, this is called the boil or frankel. But in carbuncle, infection starts in many hair follicles. And infection is spread in the underlying subcutaneous fat with necrosis of subcutaneous fat and the thrombosis of the blood vessels leading to infective gangrene of subcutaneous tissue. The sloughs usually adhere and separate slowly. What is the complication of uh, this uh, condition? The complication of this uh, condition is the spread of infection like acute abscess, direct blood and lymphatic. And Separation of the sloughs will lead to infected large ulcer. Cavernous sinus thrombosis. Cavernous sinus thrombosis occur if the carbuncle is squeezed. A squeezing of infection in the dangerous area of the face. The dangerous area of the face is the upper lip nasal septum and the surrounding area and the orbit. A squeeze of infection will push the microorganism into the facial vein which is connected with the ophthalmic veins in the orbit and trigoid venous plexus in the base of the skull and both ophthalmic veins and trigoid venous plexus connected with cavernous sinus. Presence of infection in the cavernous sinus will lead to cavernous sinus thrombosis. Therefore, any infection in the dangerous area of the face, it is contraindicated to squeeze the infection to drain this infection, as this squeezing may lead to cavernous sinus thrombosis. What is the clinical picture of uh, this condition? The clinical picture, uh, generally, there is high, severe fever and toxemia, locally. As acute abscess, the condition starts as painful, tender, indurated. Indurated, the color of this induration is what? It is not bright red, like acute inflammation, like acute abscess. It is dusky red, dusky red. And the swelling affecting the subcutaneous tissue. Then in the center, softening due to sloughs, necrosis. In the center of necrosis leading to softening 
of the center but not fluctuating the swelling is surrounded by extensive edema later on multiple pustules these are the pustules elevated area containing bus multiple pustules appear on the surface and this pustule rupture leading to multiple sinuses discharging sloughs and the bus the differential diagnosis of uh, carbuncle is frankel or boil frankel or boil affecting one hair follicle usually affect the face or axilla and they start as very small red painful cutaneous not subcutaneous swelling as carbuncle it is a cutaneous swelling then the center becomes yellow in color the center becomes yellow in color means bus formation in the center and usually the center rupture this is charging a very small amount of bus um, what are the investigations for uh, carbuncle as acute abscess especially investigations for diabetes mellitus and the culture and sensitivity of the of the discharge what is the treatment of uh, carbuncle treatment of carbuncle mainly control of diabetes mellitus with efficient antibiotic with efficient dose according to culture and sensitivity glycerin warm local foments this warm local foments help separation of the slabs if uh, all conservative measures fail excision of the slabs is uh, necessary we should uh, know some uh, after we finish from uh, carbuncle we will uh, discuss uh, and we should know uh, certain important items and their definitions what is cellulitis cellulitis is diffuse is spreading cutaneous and subcutaneous inflammation and this inflammation is non suburative no bus formation since this is a diffuse inflammation the famous organism which is responsible for diffuse inflammation is streptococci streptococci is different from staph staphylococci tend to localize inflammation but streptococci leading to spreading diffuse inflammation and if streptococci produce this inflammation in the skin and subcutaneous tissue with no bus formation this is called cellulitis erysipelas erysipelas is diffuse is spreading non-suburative inflammation like cellulitis but affecting what affecting the cutaneous lymphatics also erysipelas is produced by spreading diffuse inflammation hemolytic streptococci which are responsible for diffuse inflammation the affected area is pink in color uh, well defined edge um, show vesicles or bully basically is a small area and bully is a large area containing 
dessa charge. What is this vesicles or bolli? Actually, these are distended lymphatics. Inflammation of lymphatics leading to obstruction of cutaneous lymphatics, and we all know in presence of any obstruction, proximal dilatation occurs. And all these are dilated lymph vessels. Proximal to the obstructed lymphatics, which is obstructed early by inflammation and later on by fibrosis. This is called erysipelas. Bacteremia. Bacteremia is uh, not dangerous, usually asymptomatic, reduce no symptoms. Uh, Non-multiplying non non bacteria in the blood. Non-multiplying bacteria in the blood, the condition is uh, not dangerous, usually follow dental work or instrumentation on infected urinary tract. Bacteria may usually not dangerous and produce no symptoms. The danger is, the very, very dangerous is septicemia. Septicemia is bacteria in the blood, but multiplying bacteria, high virulent bacteria. And this usually denotes severe infection with passage of virulent bacteria, with bacterial toxins and the chemical mediators to the bloodstream. If septicemia is severe, septic shock occurs, leading to multiple organ failure. Um, Suburative hydradenitis. What is suburative hydradenitis? Adin means a gland. Itis means inflammation. There is inflammation in gland. What is hydra? Hydra is sweat. Suburative inflammation of sweat glands. Usually this inflammation affecting the axilla or the perineum. Perineum is also hairy area with sweat glands. Therefore, inflammation of the sweat glands usually in the axilla or in the perineum uh, with mixed staph and the strep coccal infection this is called suburative hydradenitis. If this condition uh, occurs in the perineum, there are multiple sinuses discharging bus. This should be differentiated from multiple anal fistula. But we all know from the anal fistula that anal fistula there is external opening like this in the brain, but there is also internal opening in the anal canal. Sure, in uh, suburative hydradenitis, there is no internal opening in the anal canal. The most dangerous uh, and very severe dangerous uh, item uh, we should know is necrotizing fasciitis. Necrotizing fasciitis is infection by mixed microorganisms which are flora on the skin and deep puncture wound occur. Deep puncture wound occur carrying this mixed microorganism flora to the dips of uh, the subcutaneous tissue and the fascia. The, or the organism multiply and spread in the facial plane. And thrombosis of uh, the blood vessels occur, leading to necrosis of the skin and the underlying subcutaneous tissue and the necrosis of the underlying fascia. 
skin, subcutaneous tissue, and fascia. The characteristic feature of necrotizing fasciitis is this. What is this? Homorrhagic. Homorrhagic bully indicate necrosis of the skin. If necrotizing fasciitis occur in the scrotum and external genitalia and the perineum, perineum, scrotum, and the external genitalia, this is called the fourniers gangrene. Um, thank you for uh, good listening and good luck.